So there's a bitter legal battle over Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's French winery. We have Ian Moore, editor of Page Six here, to share more details on what's going on. Thanks, Astra. Yeah, the um, one of the latest things that I found out that's kind of interesting is this French winery, which is called Chateau Miraval, that Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt own together, is worth $500 million. But the uh, whole case in their dispute might hinge on a one dollar and eight cent payment that's crazy <laughs> i know that's usually given because it's a gift you know something usually handed over at that rate but what's the deal with that so basically what happened was angelina jolie and brad pitt bought this winery together in 2013 he he as a sign of their love in happier times he gifted her 10 percent, so they would be 50 50 owners in the winery but as part of that contract, she had to pay him one euro, right? Which as of Thursday's exchange rate this week was worth a dollar and eight cents. As um, if she can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So essentially, you know, it was, a, it was a, a thing of goodwill, a thing of love. And now flash forward to this, you know, they've gone through this very bitter divorce and they've been battling over custody of their kids and they've been battling over ownership of this winery and in one of brad pitt's legal filings he has said or his lawyers have said hey you never paid us the euro angelina jolie had actually sold her 50 percent of the shares to a uh, the company stoli the vodka company their to their wine division brad pitt has been trying to block that sale saying that he, he he had wanted to buy the whole thing and that she sold it out from under him. So as part of his legal maneuvering to block the sale, he has alleged, hey, you never paid me the euro. And it actually kind of seems to be working because now in that court case, which is playing out in Luxembourg, um, the court has said they need to rule on that. They've put the shares into escrow and it might take a year to figure that out. So there's other there's a lot of other legal stuff going on, but that one euro could be the sticking point of this whole thing, which is kind of wild considering how many millions are at stake in their divorce. Absolutely. Now, do you think that there is a chance for him to be able to pick up that other 50 percent or do you think that it's going to stay with Stoli? You know, it remains to be seen. The thing about it is so, you know, this measly euro is just one part of this. I don't think this battle is going to end, you know, anytime soon. And it just seems to basically be, you know, pretty endless. I mean, we're going to be coming up in a couple years. They'll, they'll be on the 10th anniversary of their, you know, divorce filing. So it's going to keep going. Right. And something else that keeps going is she's alleging Brad was physically abusive towards her before the 2016 plane incident. Uh, can you share any details that were obtained by page six about this? So they're battling over this French winery, as I said. And as part of that, which you may remember, in, in 2016, Angelina and the kids went on a plane from France to L.A. And they never went back to the winery again. And she filed for divorce a few days later. She alleged that there had been, uh, that Brad had been abusive on, on that plane trip, right? Now, he was never charged with anything, and um, she has just alleged this in court papers. He's disputed her, her account. She's saying that part of the reason that she didn't sell the shares to him and that she ended up selling them to this Stoli group was that he wanted her to sign a, a very complicated NDA, right, a non-disclosure agreement. And that because he wanted her to sign this crazy NDA, it kind of um, scuttled their, their deal. So now she's saying that the reason he wanted her to sign the NDA was because it would cover up his allegedly abusive behavior. So buried in this court filing that happened on Thursday with all of these many moving parts, she had also thrown in there that his abusive, allegedly abusive behavior had started before this plane incident with her and that the abusive behavior spread to, you know, their children on this on this plane trip. But, you know, uh, sources familiar with him told us that 
you know, they feel like every time he has a legal win um, in this never ending case, she comes back with a motion and then throws in a little bombshell about the abuse. Yeah. So anyway, so, th- so so that's so that's the latest. It's it's all tied up in this crazy um, legal situation about the winery. And then now it's it's linked to this these abuse allegations as well. Well, as more information continues to come to light, of course, we'll keep you posted here at page6.com. Ian Moore, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We'll keep you posted.